Fuck. Something on the roof. Something big. Oh shit. What the fuck was that? I got a 4-5 and a, and a crucifix. I got a Friendship Baptist Church. Look, man, I'm coming. I'm coming right now. Okay? You were supposed to hit the stunt pad, bro. Uh, I totally missed it. I didn't crack my damn ass. Shit. Uh, your ass was already cracked. Uh, were you gonna help me up or what? Come here. Uh, how did you miss that? It's totally pitch black out here. It's huge. Did you at least get the shot? I almost killed myself, but yeah, I got the shot. Of course you did. <laughs> Let's go post it online and scare the shit out of people. This is boring, ah, boring, boring. Oh, look at that. Bye, Jamal. See ya. Oh. Man, you do not pay me enough for this. <laughs> Yo, Dev, man, check out the hit count. I know. I need the channels blowing up. The more videos we post, the more hits we get across the line. Even that grainy shit we filmed back in the day. Hell yeah! And all those views, that's all money right there, baby! But you know... What? We can make more. Like, make more money? You already know I'm with that! What if we turn this into a show? We go out looking for real monsters. Okay, Devin. You do know monsters ain't real. It, it, it doesn't matter if they're real or fake. People will watch. They'll want to believe it's real. Yo, Dev! Yeah, what's up? Bro, grab your camera. Come check this out. Check what out? Dude, just trust me. Come check it out. I'm telling you, bro, man. You're going to like this name. What am I looking at? The Monster Project. Bang, bang. <laughs> Original. Hey, I couldn't think of nothing else, man. Blair Witch was already taken. Uh, what is that, like the casting call? Sure is. I just finished it. Check it out. Attention all monsters in the Los Angeles area looking for subjects to be interviewed for a documentary titled... The Monster Project. Uh. <laughs> okay. Actors do not submit. Serious inquiries only. If you suffer from legitimate conditions like clinical lycanthropy and Renfield syndrome or believe that you are afflicted by the supernatural or paranormal, call the number below. No age or ethnicity requirements. Can we add, like, no ugly hoes allowed? Hey, Mom. Dad. Um, this is video log 237. So you know what that means? 237 days sober. I'll be 240 on my birthday. Um, got the money, chance to you send. Thanks again. I'm still waiting on those three jobs I applied for. You know, I was trying to put the pieces back together. Um, I've been going to NA meetings at the church. Actually, the pastor and I told us about this old story. And inside of all of us, there's this battle between two wolves. And one is good. Love. 
Oh, bravery. And the other is evil. Oh, fear. Guilt. Jealousy. And addiction. But when I asked him which wolf wins, he said, the one that you feed. Which made me think about myself. You know, and uh, the hunger I still feel. Hey, Brian. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. No, I was. 20 year video diaries. No, I was just rapping them. Come on, say hi. Here's. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. J. Don't worry. We, uh, me and Jamal, we got your boy's birthday covered this year. We'll film the whole party and send you the highlights. I need you to move your car. I'm off to set. Call times in 30. What, are they finding going to let you direct? <laughs> yeah, we'll see when that day comes. Will you cast me when you're famous? Neros? <laughs> I'll let you finish up. Bye, Mr. and Mrs. J. Alright. I guess it's we would keep a beautiful girl waiting, so uh, uh, one day at a time. So I'll see you tomorrow at uh, 238. Bye. It's day one on our search for monsters. Right now we are heading east of LA to an Indian reservation to meet up with a guy who claims to be a skinwalker. So we're meeting a Native American werewolf? Devin, look at this shit. It says no trespassing. Do you really think we should be here? Yo, I'm running out of breath. We've walked like 10 feet. How are you out of breath? You know, I'm a little skeptical about this dude. Relax. He's a cop. A cop? Hello? I'm black. Wait, wait. You hear that? What? Think it's coyotes or something? That is the sound of me fucking with you. Oh, I fucking hate you! Oh, I wish when I bite you in your ass! Hey, Dev, the light's blinking. I'm running out of battery, bro. Why, you don't have any spares? Nah, man, I left them in the car. <gasps> Do you hear that? Hell yeah. Man, it sounds like wolves or something. No, oh, they're coyotes. Devin. Yeah. Oh, shit. <sighs> Please don't be bad. Please don't be bad. <sighs> he's not bad. Oh, uh, and he's mad. Oh, damn. Here it comes. Did you get any of that conversation? I saw he was wearing one of those, like, police body cameras. Maybe. Do not fuck up on me again, Jamal. Listen, man, I promise it won't happen again, all right? Fuck. I mean, hey, look on the bright side. I mean, you did get your skinwalker. And I gotta admit, he does look legit. Oh. He's legit. Hey, you wanna know why the camera battery is always dead? Why? Because you keep filming stupid shit like this. You're supposed to be giving me directions. What do you need directions for? You know which house it is. Whoa, 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 back up, back up. Why? Just back the fuck up. <laughs> what the hell is the problem? Muriel's still here. She was supposed to be out by now. She... Oh, shit, turn the lights off. <sighs> this is so stupid. How old are we? We have work to do. Listen, I told your ass when you started dating Muriel that if you messed up, it was gonna be consequences. I thought that meant you were gonna kick my ass. Yeah, well, I still need to. <laughs> Look, you and me, we're cool. But you and Muriel, that's a whole nother story. She holds grudges. She still hasn't forgave you for leaving. But I came back to Callie. Yeah, well, you didn't come back to her. Oh, shit, there she go. Duck, duck, get low. <sighs> well... Welcome back to my crib, Dev. That's new. Oh, yeah, that's Brian's. What's up, Brian? What you cooking? It's uh, dinner. 
You mean my dinner, because you for damn sure don't buy no groceries up in here. I didn't think you'd be back so soon. Hey, you, uh, <laughs> you got a package, man. I didn't order anything. I did. I'm, uh, Brian. Sorry, we haven't met. I'm Devin. What, Devin? What the Devin? Brian, be cool, chill out. Yeah, sorry, I just heard that you moved away. It's... Yeah, I got back about a month ago. Hey! Really? Uh, uh, really? Uh, hi, hi, Muriel. Muriel. Stay the fuck out of my life. Maybe we should work on this another time. No. I mean, work to do. Hey, no, don't you think you should work somewhere else? I mean... When are you her boyfriend? <sighs> Look, man, we're just gonna work on it in my room, all right? You know, this guy ought to have respect for whose house he's in. Yeah, my house and my fish sticks. Ooh, they good, too. We got another response to the casting notice. Ooh. And she's a vampire. Oh, shit. What, like a sexy Dracula? Well, she didn't attach a photo to her email, but her bio was convincing enough. Her name is Shayla. She's a tattoo artist, so she works at night and sleeps during the day. And get this. She drinks blood. The fuck? What kind of blood? Oh, this kind. Oh, shit. Yo, you are tripping. You order needles off the internet? She said we could do the interview in exchange for a vial of blood. So, I'm gonna need your own. Oh, hell no. Nah. 100 bucks. Do I look like a crackhead to you? I ain't that damn broke. Well, do you know anybody who is that damn broke? You know, I can't believe I'm doing this. How else you gonna pay rent? Listen, you left Detroit and came to LA to be an actor, right? Well, just look at this as your first on-camera gig. It's the role I always wanted. Guy have a needle in his arm. Believe me, bro, it already pays better than most Hollywood acting gigs. Tasty, tasty. Now, let's go catch a vampire. Where's the drop-off supposed to go down? She said to leave it on a park bench near the swing set. Well, there's uh, kind of a lot of park benches there. Yeah, I see that. Worst blind date ever. Man, just put it down. Okay. Brian, did you tell Tony Hawk to shut up? <laughs> Shit, you see that? Give me that. Go, 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 go. Go, go. <sighs> Shit. It's gone. Oh, hell no. The blood vial, it's gone. Did you get her on camera? Why do you guys want to go looking for this again? What's the... Because we getting paid, that's why. What, demons, vampires? Look, I don't think we should be going looking for those things. For fuck's sakes, Brian, none of it's real. Exactly, hey, look, pull your fucking skirt up. The Bible says that demons are real. So if they're real, then who's to say what else is out there in the dark? I mean, evil seeps through the cracks of society. It targets vulnerable people. So used to say that the devil hasn't transcended in different ways. <gasps> what the f <sighs> Gosh, who was that bringing the door? Uh, <sighs> who is it? It's 3 a.m. Who is it? Yo, that better not be one of your drunk ass friends. Is it safe for me to be here? Yeah, Muriel's still out on the shoot. Sit down, you gotta see this shit. 
The DVD is in. Just press play. seen that shit. What the fuck? Whoa. Hi, is this Shuri? Act that little bitch how she thought the house. But you keep your voice down and put your address in the Craigslist ad. You did what? Shut up. Hi, this is Devin Adams, the uh, producer of The Monster Project. I'm sorry to call so late. I just finished watching your DVD and if you're still interested in... That's correct. Perfect. You remember what Brian said in the car earlier? Some things you just shouldn't go looking for? That girl is one of them. Don't spare me. You're gonna take life advice from the deadbeat bumming off your blow-up mattress? <sighs> Kid's a parasite. Look, you don't know what he's been through. Brian's seen some real evil in his life. Yeah, I saw the track mark scars on his arm when I drew his blood. Kid's a junkie, too. Was. He just got out of rehab a couple months back. Once a junkie, always a junkie. Didn't you see Requiem for a Dream? They don't beat it. Shit. I hope you didn't hear us. Okay, go ahead. Happy birthday! We love you. We hope you love your present. <laughs> so good. Here's the cake. When I say happy, y'all say birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Hello! That's my dad! Hey, hey, watch your lips, boy. Watch your lips. Hey, that was my wish. Oh, don't drink that. There's dirt all over that ball. Okay. I'm doing worse things. Show me your big moves, girl. Yeah. You'll be on Soul Train any minute now. Are you serious? <laughs> What's going on over here? It look like some bullshit going down. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have a little talk with Brian. Say what up to your folks, bro. Oh, we have to do this now, man? I was... Yes, we do. Or else you'll forget. You know the rules, man. How many days we at now? You know how many days they live with you. 240. Two, 240? Hey, I'll definitely drink to that. Couldn't be more proud. <laughs> Oh my god, I almost forgot your present. I'll be right back. Present? But you had nothing to do with that either, huh? No, I, I, I had something to do with the present too, man. It was all my idea. So she gets me a cake and a present? What do you get? I ain't giving you shit. You, you owe me rent. Anyways, 240 days and you ain't broke yet? I don't know about that, bro. Why do you think I'm lying? Nah, I'm just curious, because I seen your homeboy slip something in your pocket. Yeah. He said everyone should have one on their birthday. Extra large, shouldn't be much. And I've seen yours, and there's a purple small one, so. Ha! <laughs> you got jokes, eh. My bad, bro. I didn't know. I'm sorry, dude. You know, I heard you, Devin, talking about me behind my back. Why the a parasite? Listen, you know I did not say that shit. No, but you didn't defend me either. You know, you're different around him. You know he's only using you, right? No, what he's doing is paying me. Yeah, to get to Muriel. Whatever, man. And why did you invite him to my birthday? Invite him? What are you talking about? Right fucking behind you. What? 
shit. Uh, Devin, what are you doing here? Relax, I don't plan on staying. I just came to apologize. What's this? My apology. Oh, birthday card? <laughs> Dude, this is $600. For one day of work. What? That's way more than what you pay me! Well, it's not your birthday, is it? Well, it's not your birthday, is it? Look, I'm man enough to admit when I'm wrong. What I said the other night was uncalled for. And if you're interested, we could use a PA for the shoot on Sunday. Someone to hold the boom pole. Happy birthday! Are you fucking kidding me? Out front now. You're next. I didn't even invite him! I think you can just waltz in and out of my life whenever you fucking please. That is not how this works. And tonight of all nights is not about you. Then why are you back here talking to me? Go back to your boyfriend's party. Brian is my friend. Something you never were. We were more than friends. Yeah, until you threw me away like a piece of trash. But I guess the other bitch wasn't worth it. Why else would you come crawling back? Hey, I never cheated on you. I just needed to get the hell out of LA. To focus, to come up with a plan. Too bad I wasn't a part of it. I want you to be now. Time Apart taught me that. And this, this project, Jamal, I started. It has potential. I want you there with me. <laughs> you are fucking insane if you think I would ever grip on my ex-boyfriend's shoot. I'm not asking you to grip. What then? I'm asking you to direct. I think Jamal is in this room hiding from you. And I'm pretty sure that everybody else is gone. Your pupils are super dilated. I guess that means you had a good time. <sighs> well, I still haven't got my present as you I'm sorry, I shouldn't have... Uh, Jamal and I got you a head strap camera so you can film yourself falling off your skateboard. I never fall off my skateboard. You only fall off. If I do, off. it's like it's one. Yeah. So why has this been recording the whole time? Shit. Confess your sins. I turned it on to film your reaction when I brought it out. Didn't expect Devin to be here. There. Super dork. <laughs> I look awesome. You haven't seen yourself. So, uh, so it didn't anything, you know, happen between you two? I saw you guys. Uh, yeah, it's uh, probably all on tape. Suffice it to say, he offered me a job. Me too. <laughs> so you gonna take it? like I see exactly what he's doing, but I still can't say no. Well, I guess he's all right. Give me $600. Really? Still an ass. Yep. <laughs> definitely still an ass. I mean, uh, you guys getting back to... No, 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 no. No, I mean, I don't even care. We are not either. getting back together. No, I was no, just, I was... No, it's it's not, I don't even, I was just saying. It's hard though, you know, there's a lot of history there. You know, we have a lot of history too. Yeah. Yeah, we do. I'm sorry. Um, I shouldn't have, um, fuck, I am gonna go to bed, um, what? are you, are you gonna come inside? 
Well, whatever you want. Uh, good night, Brian. Happy birthday. happening this evening pretty exciting for astronomy enthusiasts something called a total lunar eclipse you may not have been aware that this was even happening tell us all about yo it, d Thank you, i brought my telephoto yeah, lens so we can check the eclipse from up close don't tell me tell the director are we still playing this game Devin? this is still your project and i will still be the one in front of camera and muriel will just handle everything behind it that's right what? i thought that was my job your job is to keep the fucking batteries charged. <sighs> this time. No fair. Really? Big job, big job for a big man. Hey, what are you laughing at, Mr. P.A.? You still on the bottom of the chain. Yeah, except I'm still making more money than you are. Yo, Devin, I can't work like this. I need a raise. Thank you. I'm sorry, man. I used the rest of the budget on renting the location. My allergies are not going to like this. There it is. That's the house. Charming. Who's the guy? That must be Richard. What? He's the property owner. We only spoke over the phone a few times. So just to get this right, we're here to interview three monsters in a creepy house in the woods in the night of an eclipse. <laughs> They're not real monsters, Brian. Looks like you've got tonight all figured out, Dev. Trust me, it all adds to the value of the production. Tonight will be perfect. That's weird. What? The windows are all boarded up. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. You mind looking like a dork for the rest of the day? The extra footage could come in handy in the edit. Whatever the director says. Thank you. Are you, uh, you filming? Yeah, you got a problem? Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't like cameras. So, are we gonna talk at all or just, uh... Now is really not the time, Brian. Besides, there's nothing to talk about. What do you mean there's nothing to talk about? You kissed me. Yeah, I was drunk and I was upset and you were nice to me. It was a mistake. It was a mistake? You were drunk and I was just there, really? Please don't do this. Look, you're one of my best friends. Don't ruin what we already have, okay? I'll just get the big one. Thanks. As much as you don't like cameras, you sure got a lot of cameras rigged up here. Well, this place is broken into a lot. A lot of people sneak in, have sex, shoot up, sacrifice animals. The security in this place costs more than the damn house worth. I'm sorry, did you just say sacrifice animals? Yeah, in the 60s, it was kind of a uh, headquarters for a satanic group. Hey, uh, guys, before we head in, uh, I need you to leave your phones in the car. What? Why? Are you Why? fucking serious? I don't want it interrupting the interviews or creating audio feedback. Seriously? You can live without it for a few hours. It won't kill you. Yeah, fine. I can't okay. live without mine. You putting your phone back? This is so stupid. This looks like a straight up crack out. Oh. Martha! <sighs> oh, this is nasty. Martha! <laughs> Martha! Sorry, you talking about? Yo, who the hell is Martha? Shh. Hey, listen, hey. you guys stay right here, okay? She uh, sometimes gets really scared. Martha? Who is Martha? Martha? I think he said it was his wife. Oh, shit. Look, look, look. Big Brother's watching us. Ma'am? 
Uh, uh, Mr. Rich, I think we found your old lady. Can you hear me? She okay? No. Was there anything we can do? Yeah, you know what? You can just get out of the way and then let me show you the rest of the place, okay? You're gonna uh, just interview people, right? Yeah. Okay. Not the best. All right, listen, I don't want anybody going upstairs, okay? Especially up in the attic, because there's, there's a lot of rotten wood up there. I take full responsibility for everyone's sake. Okay, and if anybody gets hurt, no, I'm not liable for it. Is there electricity? Uh, yeah, all the uh, all the fixtures work, and there's a fuse box downstairs in case you overdo the power. Uh, there's a mall. I think we should probably set up here, right in front of the fire. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Sorry, she, uh, she gets confused sometimes where she is. She gets scared, too, so. Listen, I gotta get, take off and get her to her doctor's appointment. If you have my uh, deposit. Trade you for the keys. Try not to burn the place down. Hey, Jamal, can you move that diva left a little? Huh? Oh, yeah, 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 I got you. Of the interviews. Mm. Wow, what else you got in there, MacGyver? The power of Christ. What, no silver? You got that necklace around your neck. Can you toss me a mag light? All right, which one of you turkeys wants to come flip the breaker with me? Oh, gobble, gobble. That ain't no offense, man. I'll take care of this one. Ready? Yeah. You know, I don't need you to protect me from him. You know why Devin offered you the job, though, right? I'm not an idiot. He says he's changed. Oh, and you believe him. <laughs> what if nobody ever gave you a second chance? Great. Found it. We all love a good horror story. We like to pretend that monsters are real. But what if they truly exist, living amongst us? Hi, my name is Devin Adams, creator of The Monster Project. Tonight, on this rare lunar eclipse, we will interview three strangers who claim to be real-life monsters. A vampire, a demon, and a skinwalker. No actors, no scripts, everything you are about to witness is real. Cut. Man, take it back. My, my voice was off. Oh my gosh. Well, you sure as hell ain't Morgan Freeman. <laughs> oh shit. What was that? You heard that? We don't have much time. <gasps> Uriel! What are you doing? Kevin, is this yours? Shuri, uh, early. Well, we're not quite set up yet. 
Just mind waiting in your dressing room. You, you don't mind. Great. Who the hell is we? I'm going to take Shiori to the storeroom. Go tape these upstairs. Vampire. What am I doing? Right, it's just one day. You be professional. You don't need the pills. Walker. Hey, come on. Right. We got demon. All right, done. Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? She are? <laughs> you okay? Sure. Everything okay? Shit. Jamal? What? Jamal, what the hell are you doing? What do you mean? I'm on Coyote Watch. What? <sighs> Shit. I think I see something. Yo, Dev, yo, come over here, yo, you gotta see this. What is it? Who are you letting in? Uh, hi, uh, welcome. I got this. You must be Shayla. In the flash. Please. Come in. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for your donation. I'll come by for a second taste. Yo, bro, you cool, bro? You look pale as fuck. What was that for? Just keep it together. You're just on edge. Fuck. I don't need fucking pills, okay? You just breathe, okay? Just breathe, and you'll be all right. You can handle one night. See what you got there? What are you talking about? The camera on your forehead. They make us wear body cams now, too. Oh, yeah, no, I just got mine today. Secrets used to be easier to hide. Yeah. Steven, I'm so happy you could join us. The Monster Project. Scene one, take one. Brian, I think you're in the shot. And set. Thank you for joining us, Stephen. I understand you wish to conceal your identity for your protection. Not my protection. Yours. I also understand it's forbidden for the Navajo to discuss skinwalking. How would your people feel if they knew you were talking to us? There would be an uproar. So why are you doing this? Revenge. Aren't you a police officer? On the reservation. You protect your people. For myself. 
from others like me. Skinwalkers. Ye now do she. Right. So, how does one become a skinwalker? Murder. Are you saying you're a murderer? I am a skinwalker. My, uh... My research shows that you have to murder a family member in order to become a skinwalker. You sell your soul to the devil. You have to kill, yes. But you don't sell your soul. You make a pact for power. Have you ever shapeshifted? Of course. Is it painful? Your back hurts. Your jaw. You can't feel anything else. Your mind splits in two. You give up everything that makes you human. Become animal. Animal. Are you saying you're not in control when you transform? No. 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 Power blinds you. Only silver stops it. Would you call yourself a monster? Um, would you mind dimming the lights? Yeah, uh, Brian, can you dim the lights? I got it. How's that? Much better. Thank you. Set. Great. Let's get underway. Oh, um, if it's all the same to you, I'd rather have him ask me the questions. What? Uh, Brian has to roll sound. Oh, but can't you do it? I don't really talk unless it's to him. The quiet ones are always more fun. Sure. No, I'm not. If you prefer to start that way. Yeah, I do. How do I? What? Just ask, man. You don't have to sit that far away. I don't bite. Are you sure about that? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Um. <clears throat> so, what's your name? Call me Shayla. Is that your real name? Do I seem fake to you? Fake? Well, um, you said that you're a vampire, so... Only for the sake of brevity. There are a lot of misconceptions about my kind. Truth is more complicated. We start with the basics. Um, how old are you? Hmm? It's rude to ask a woman's age. I'm not ageless, if that's what you mean. We all die, just like we all bleed. Can you walk in the sunlight? Yes. So you don't burn or die or anything like that? God, no. Then why are you nocturnal? Have you ever gone out all night drinking and you felt like shit the next day? That's how I feel in the sunlight. Hungover, sick. Everything stings, every noise is amplified. The sound of a busy street, dogs barking. 
kids screaming. It's grating on my ears. And then at night, everything quiets down and I can hear myself think. It allows me to do my work. Uh, what do you do for a living? I'm an artist. Do you have any tattoos I can't see? One. Show me. JSSR, KN. Your initials. Ex-girlfriends? Not exactly. So, how do you restrain yourself when your clients bleed? Oh, I don't. Restraint is not my strength. I can't resist a taste. I consider it a tip. So you drink blood to survive? Yes, but not in the way you're thinking. In what way is that? Food. People need much more than sustenance to survive. Caffeine, alcohol, sex, drugs. You know the feeling, don't you? The warm rush in your veins, the euphoria, like you've just been fucked by Athena. You know that feeling, don't you? I know you know. Yeah, I've been high before. Yeah. Then you know how fleeting it is, how quickly the body acclimates, and how quickly the wolf gets hungry again. Oh, I've tasted your blood. Oxycontin? It was never my favorite, but you know, it really dulls the pain. Are you serious, bro? Oh, shit. I don't know what she's talking about. She's lying this whole fucking time. Oh, shit. Was that, was that a secret? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You shouldn't keep secrets. You know, just because you turn your back on the devil doesn't mean he stops falling. You shut the fuck up! Okay, you're a fucking liar! Okay, this is bullshit! Damn it, Brian. It's coming out of your pain. Your boy's losing it. Brian, shut up. We need to make up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... I didn't know he was lying to all of you. Where are they? What are you talking about? You know what the fuck I'm talking about? The pills? The oxy? Brian, I know you're high. Every fuck fucking pills! Your fucking pupils are dilated! Don't play with me! What the fuck is this? I knew you were lying! Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'm fucking sorry! Damn it, Brian! It's not about you! Just shut out my fucking house! I'm not floating you around for another month. Well, I thought we meant to be friends. We're friends because we're fucking kids. So fuck you! Fuck you! Friends? Friends? Listen, Devin didn't use me. You did. You lied straight to my face. You lied to everybody. Listen, man. You made your choice. Don't blame me for making mine. Man, find your way out back. I don't need you fucking up more of my shot. Here's a video of you, mom and dad. Take a good look at your son! Your fuck up, junkie son! You can't even go a day without a dose! Dude, it just makes you proud! God damn it! Fuck!
Okay. Please say your name for camera. Snowdy. And you believe you're possessed by a demon, Shiori? I wanted to go away. Who? The bad man. He promised if we come here and talk to you, you leave. How long have you known the bad man? Always. Since we were born. Is he here with us now? He's close. Have you ever seen him? Can you tell me what he looks like? He's smiling. Always smiling. He has no lips. His eyes are big. He looks like an animal. Why do you call it he? He holds us down at night. Forces himself inside. Is this a nightmare you have? He scratches me. Oh my god. Did you do that to yourself, Shuri? God hates us. What? I see him. Go away! I didn't want to want Go away! What is she screaming for? Hey, there's nothing there. Shiori, it's okay. There's nothing there. Calm down!
Jamal, is that you? Fuck. Jamal! <laughs> Stand a chance. You saw those things. Saw what? Brian, we're leaving now. Brian, Jamal's hurt inside the house. We have to what go back and What the fuck are you talking it. about? Those people that we brought here to interview, they're not people. Go on. Go, Kelly. Go, go back in the house. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go Jesus Christ. You still think we're messing with you? Is that blood? Come on. Where's Jamal? Over here, Brian. Give me a hand. Come on. Vampire steak, holy water, salt, knife, everything we need is in here. Here, you know how to use that. I got the steak. Jamal! Brian, don't go. Wait! Jamal! Brian! Shiori, all right, just listen to me, okay? Shiori, just listen to me, I promise, okay? Everything's gonna be all right, just trust me. Shiori, Shiori, trust me, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Well, I came back to save your ass, and I... I thought you were dead. How'd you get yeah. away from that thing? I managed to grab the gun from the holster. I put four rounds in his ass. The motherfucker still wouldn't go down. I don't think we're gonna make it out. Hey, don't say that, okay? Look, ah! It's gonna be okay. Oh, I got you, I got you, I got you. Shit! Come on, man, get up. I ain't gonna Well, then you don't get to hold the gun. You see anything? I got you. Okay? Okay. When you get closer to the stake or be my guest. Shoot her! Shit! Ah! 
me the stake! Jamal! Taste this bitch! Save the motherfucking day. Oh. Jamal? Oh, Brian? Oh, shit. So much oh. for the black guy going out first. Oh, Jamal. Shit. Oh, oh, fuck, the infection's pretty fast, man. You okay? Don't worry about me. What about your neck? That bitch had a big shit. fucking mouth. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, Devin, give me the gun. Be careful, Brian. Brian be careful. Okay. Everyone stay back. What's the noise? Sounds like hammer. Tell me about silver. Only silver kills him. Hey, maybe we don't have to kill it. Maybe we can go around. Come on, this way. Come on. You got it? Still got that cross? Yeah, I got it. All right, Jamal, get behind me. Got you, right? Just like we do. You ready? Yeah. All right. No! Funny, Jamal. What do we do with her? As her eyes look clear, she can't fight this demon for long. If it takes over again. Then we fucking leave her. We can't just leave her here to die. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Me too. We Brian, can take this. Run. We gotta go. We won't let us leave. Go. 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 Okay. The walls are boarded up with a shield of concrete. I'm 
knew he won't let us leave. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. I unlocked the door, but it still wouldn't open. So what are you saying? We locked it from the outside? Explains the hammering we heard outside. We're all gonna die down here. Hey, hey, look at me. All right, I'm gonna find us a way out, I promise. <laughs> Get out of my way. No! No! Oh. Huh? Oh. Brian! Oh. Yeah, that was your first way. time! Okay, just give me the flashlight, okay? Hey, come on, come on! Come on! I can't see shit! Uh, can you see that? You guys, we should not be down here! Hey, I see a way out. Where? Brad, be careful. Brian, you see anything? Their second floor window. What about Shuri? We'll lock her in. Ha, 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 ha. 
I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault. It was mine. Hey, Brian! You were right, man. That stuff you sold us was really good shit. I didn't know the batch was bad. I'm sorry. You still got the kind of Brian. And your sex is so much better when you're high. Makes you feel alive. I want to feel alive again. No, don't! Stop! Look, I'm sorry. This should have been me. No! Murderer! Oh, no, get out of my head! James Sanders, Samuel Ross, Cameron Mason. You killed them all, Brian. No, I was trying to help them. <laughs> you sold them their poison, and now they're dead. Your drugs killed them. No, I didn't mean to. I didn't think anything bad would happen. You thought wrong, murderer. Murderer! No! Murderer! No! 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 Get away! Get away! Well, that'll happen. Well, that'll happen. Kill her! Try and finish the prayer now! And let us not into temptation! Your friends are waiting for you in hell, Ryan. They deliver us from evil! The light is the kingdom! The power of glory forever! Just like I will be! Amen! <laughs> Ain't dead. Just help me do it. Don't help me help her. Please. I will take everything from you, Brian. You can't have everything it. you love. That is not my name. I am the demon Baphomet. 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 Crucified, died, and buried, descended into hell, and rose again from the dead! She will die! You will all die! He ascended into heaven, and now sits on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty! God cannot save this world. He is coming. Here we are. over.
Baby. Yeah, I finally told her. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. My back it hurts. Yeah. Oh, I think I need to go to the hospital. Hey man, listen, I'm gonna get you the fuck out of here, I promise, all right? Just grab my arm. Just grab my arm. It hurts. Get upstairs! Get upstairs now! Come on! Just shoot Ken, all right? I'm not leaving you behind. Right, I'm dying. You never gave up on me. Now come on. Mr. Dear, just go. Make sure Muriel gets out safe. Muriel, move. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Come on, get up! Get up, Muriel! Don't speak, come on, come on, come on. Jamal? Hey, hey, come on. I'm gonna get you out of here, all right? Hey, hey, look at me. Ramsey. I know, I'm gonna get you out of here, all right? I promise you.
fuck are you? He is coming. Sorry, I couldn't save you.
Like music, isn't it? A master orchestration. What the fuck is this? Wow, those drugs really did make you slow. There's no way out, Brian. And God can't save you. Do you see blood on my hands? What about Muriel? What about her? I thought you loved her. Love. Love is sacrifice, Brian. I needed her. I needed all of you. The crew, the monsters, the lunar eclipse, even this particular house was all part of the plan. You all had to die on this night. I couldn't kill any of you myself for the ritual. But I provided you with the weapons, perfect scenario. And you performed your roles wonderfully. You see, Brian, the documentary isn't what you think it is. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I need you to look at me. I want you to see. Why me? 
because you believe in God. You raise me this. And I want him to see this. You hear me? I want you to see this. I want you all to see this. See what? My rise. Anoint the head of your king. In the name of Satan, Lucifare Centos, desolation of man, god of hellfire, defiler of innocence, we, your children, evoke you tonight. O radiant father, by the moon, this fallen king shall rise from the fires of hell and claim this world his birthright. Those that burn, bow unto Lord, thy fury and thy wisdom. You shall lead me up into the green pastures. And the angels lift the death from the angels, you and they their superior shrouds and you shall pay eternal. Damn be to God. So, it is done. Thank you, Martha. The Antichrist cometh. <laughs>